Puggy Pugs and YT present The Unknown of the Woods in the forest with the camp. Are we there yet? Yeah, we're almost there, Willow. I think it's supposed to be up in up there, near that this little city right there. So it might just take us about a few more minutes. <sighs> Wait a minute. Huh, Stranger Time? I thought I saw something familiar. And it's been my brain or something. Wait a second. Why do I feel like I'm. I keep seeing something? Wait a second. Okay, something is really off. It's like I see something, and then I don't see it again. I don't like the sound of this, but I am hungry, so I'm gonna go keep going. All right, guys, here we are at the camp. Finally, it's about time. <sighs> Great. There's no fire, since there's not even that m many wood. Well, there's a there's lots of wood right here, but these are big woods, and we don't even have axes. <sighs> All right. Um. One of you guys have to find, like, wood. Like, small wood. So, who wants to find some wood? Who's that? Oh, come on! I didn't even know you guys were gonna do Dibs Not! Besides, I had enough for today. Look, I literally had to save, like, Eddie, Ellie's brother, from, like, that big, like, temple, like, in the, in the motel, from ancients and mummies and Mr. Stitchy. I had enough for today. Well, you know the rules, Willow. Um, wh whoever's the last one that then did, like, the pinky, or, like, the dip's not, um, you're gonna have to do it. <sighs> Fine. Wait, am I gonna be the one who's who's doing all this crazy stuff now, or what? I don't even like s'mores. What the? I'm not even going to worry about it. God, there were so many tri- There's a little outdoor camp here? Uh, what? You know what? For, forget it. I'm not even going to worry about it. All I have to do is just find wood. See, it's that simple. But I don't know where the wood could be in this whole camp. Guess I just have to search everywhere or something. Hmm, let's just for the cabins. No, that's a generator. No, that's a bench. Wait, what is this? He's misunderstanding. I was one of his friends. We were performing a magic show. I didn't expect what was coming to him. Man, I love my telling a story voice. Or just reading a note voice. Anyways. No. Just another bench. Hmm. Nothing. Okay, there's another cabin over there. What is that? Wait, hold on a second. What the heck is this? What the? Is that a skull? Wow, someone must have died here or something. And I'm sure it's not even going. I'm not even going to worry about it, so. Yeah. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> oh, uh, hey, uh, that must be your skull, right? Oh, yeah, and the funny thing is, I was just about to leave. So you don't have to worry about me again. So, yeah, I'm just gonna leave now and, um,. <laughs> I'll show where I had, where I had, where I had. Behind its car. Oh, oh god. Let's just hope she doesn't find me. She didn't found me. Oh shoot, what I had a dog. 
<laughs> nope, 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 nope. Oh god, oh god, oh god, I gotta... I still gotta find wood for the others. God, where do I find it? Where do I find it? Wait, there's already a fire right there, but... I can't just let them come over here. The skull is still there. I uh, think, 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 if, there, if only there was someone who could help me. Did somebody say they needed help? What the... The Easter Bunny? Or is that just you, Bunny? Yeah, it's just me, Bunny. Wait, I... I thought you died. Well, yeah, then it was Easter time, and then they revived me to, like, celebrate Easter and stuff, and they kind of forgot to kill me again, so... Yeah. Now I just usually help people with stuff, and try to find more eggs, so I can eat them. But anyways, um, I heard you needed some help. Well, yeah. So there's the... So I... So basically, I found a skull near one of the cabins. Oh, yeah, I heard of that one. Wait, what, what do you mean, heard of that one? Well, basically, you see... Um, this one time, like, back in the early days, in the 1990s, there were a few kids at camp, and Giraffe was, like, the leader or something. And basically, one of the kids found, like, a skull, like, near the cabin, and I'm sure that's the same one. And basically, if you get close to it, or just touch it, or just do anything with it, basically, the skull lady will, um, appear in, f like, behind you. And if you don't look behind you in time, you will die, and... And basically, she will, like, kill you or something, or steal your soul or something. Basically, it was, like, an accident by Mr. Stigy, you know, that guy. And then he said the accident was perfect, so he just let it go. And then this forest became abandoned because of that. And that's why, um, Giraffe's no longer, like, camp leader. Because he de doesn't want to deal with that drama again. Oh, yeah, like that, that, like, portrait or something in his room, like, yeah. Wait, so are you telling me you got near the skull? Well, yeah, I didn't know about, like... That? Well, you should've, you should've knew! You should've checked, like, social media or something. Social media doesn't exist in the piggy universe. Well, but what about TVs? They only exist! Damn. Well, seriously, though, what do you need help with? Well, I'm trying to get rid of the skull lady now, and I just don't know how. Hmm, let me think. Oh, I got an idea. Go over here real quick. Okay, then. Alright, so do you see this fire right here? Uh, yeah, what about it? Well, you're gonna need to lead skull, the skull lady into the fire. Basically, she's allergic to fire. What? Yeah, allergic to fire. Wait, th th uh, what? Oh. What does allergic to fire- what? How can you be allergic to fire? I don't know. Th uh, you know what, forget it, just tell me the rest. Alright, so basically... Um, just lead the skull lady into the fire, and then she will be gone, and then make sure you don't go near the skull lady, or else you're gonna have to do it all again. Oh god, why did I even be- why did I even do this in the first place? Wait, hold on, wait, Willow. Why even here in the first place, actually? Well, it's quite a long story. So basically, um, Mimi had a brother- Oh yeah, I heard about that, she was- like, her brother, like, was gone for, like, a year or something. Yeah, that. And then she became so sad, and Buggy said that, uh, that we would all help her find her. Or him. And then we went, like, to places in the whole, like, Lozella City, like, the port, and Mr. Stigy actually turned Buggy into a winning smile, which he always said, free Robux. And then we had to go to more places, like, Mr. P P's, like, house, which which made, like, Brella go back to the far view as hell because he was being so weird to her. And then we went to the hospital, I think, where we had to find a doctor for Pony because he fell, fell down, like, the hill and got badly injured. And then we realized that that doctor w got infected, like, the doctor pig. And then we found Barry, which is, like, back at, like, the forest, like, the other forest or something, like, the woods. Like, near that little camp. And basically, that was his best friend. They've been friends for, like, since 1987. Like, the first time they worked at the hospital. And then he became all sad because, like, he lost his only friend because he got bullied a lot at school. Yeah, it's just a lot. And then he said he's gonna help us, like, find Mr. Stitchy and, like, destroy him or something for what he did to his only friend. And then we went to the alley for some clues and then Mr. Stitchy found us and then told us that he... Um, he would tell us where he, like, um, his, like, Mimi's own brother was if we beat him in a hide-and-seek, and he found, if he found us, we died, and then he found us, and then we had to run to my hideout, the factory. But then, um, he sent his insta slug to get us, and basically, Barry disguised himself as Mr. Stitchy and tell, told insta slug that he didn't need him anymore, and then Mr. Stitchy, like, 
but I captured Barry, and then we had to search the whole alleyway to, like, rescue him, and had to help an unknown, like, the unknown traitor who tried to kill us in season one in, in the alternate universe, with, like, ammo and bullets, and then I had to save Eddie from, like, Ellie's brother from, like, the motel with a temple in a little small room, and then Barry said, like, we took, like, a lot of time to like save him so now we're taking a break and making s'mores and i don't even like s'mores and now puggy told me to like find some more because i was the last one who didn't tips not and now i'm here so yeah what are you all talking about mr Bray, get out of here no oh my fucking goodness but yeah how is this skull lady here yet? Yeah, I know. It's like every time, like, when we talk for, like, a long time, like, after we stop talking, they're finally here. Yeah, I know. That happens. Yeah, sure. We're just... We're, we're just, like... Forget it. But yeah, anyways, that's all you have to do. Just lead the skull lady into the fire. Oh, wait, hold on. Well, but before I go, have you seen, like, a note anywhere? Like, something about magic or something? I need that. For, like, evidence of something. Oh, yeah, you know what? As I was saying, oh yeah, you know what, I think I found like a note like in, in a cabin, like over there. And like you said, just don't go near the skull. Alright, um, thank you. Now remember, just do what I say and just don't mess up or you're going to fail and might die. So yeah, um, if you need any more help, just, um, say if only I get, if only I need help or something. And then I'll, I'll hear it and then I'll come right at you. Okay, thank you so much, bunny. Yeah, no problem. Happy, happy late Easter, I guess. And if you see any more eggs, um, give them to me and I'll eat them. Can you just stop, like, saying eat them with that voice? Okay, okay, fine. See you later. <sighs> okay. Now I'm sure the skull lady is supposed to come right now. Okay, so what I'm going to do is once she gets very close to me, I'm going to, um, like, do this. And then she'll get in it. And then she'll go away. And then I can just find some wood. Alright. I'm, I'm ready. Let's do this. Okay, screw this. I'm just gonna die. Shoot, I forgot you can't die. Oh, <sighs> thank God I got rid of her. Oh yeah, shoot, I forgot I had I had to get like the wood. I gotta go find some wood. What if I just get that wood? Well, no, I would burn my hand to crisp, like a burnt toast. Hmm, think, think, Willow, think. Maybe if I blow on it out hard enough, I, uh, it will, like, the fire will go away and I'll get the wood. Alright, let's try this. <gasps> no, not worrying. <laughs> okay. Think, think, think. Uh, so I'm gonna just go harder. <laughs> Wait a second. There's one in the cave. Why did they give that in the first place? <laughs> I'm not dealing with you again. <laughs> Dang it! Okay, now what I what do I have to do? Uh, uh, hmm, uh, uh, maybe this one will be easier. <laughs> okay, I give up. I don't even have an axe. Like, this one would be more easier if I ha had an axe and I would just cut one of the some of the trees down. Maybe if I can find an axe somewhere. Whoa! Hey, watch it! Wait, doggy? Oh yeah, that's right. We, in an alternative universe, me and Pony infected him with the potion next to that bench. Oh, damn! I almost forgot about that. And I almost forgot also, like if if a bot, like if like a piggy skin gets looked at as a bot in the chapter. That means they get stuck in this chapter forever. I almost forgot about that. Wait, but then where was he for the whole time? Okay, you know, I'm not gonna worry about... Wait a second. Doggy has an axe. That's it. Maybe if I stand um, in front of one of, like, some of these trees, then he will try to hit me, and then I'll just dodge, and then just, he'll, he'll chop the tree down. Maybe in one shot. Aha, you're so, you're so smart, Willow. Well, thank you, Willow. 
Um, you, you, you're, you're cool as well. Oh, you're so cool as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let's just get to the point. God, you're so weird. Haha, -ha, can't catch me. Haha, -ha, you suck with that axe. Haha, -ha, I'm better than you, loser. Shut up. So it's when the heck could you talk? Later. Man, you should use a different weapon instead of the axe and you don't know how to use it right. You you suck. You suck. Ha! Huh. Oh, wait a second. Oh, sh- What happened? What happened? What, what, what's going on? Oh, wait. Oh, he's gone. Must have think I like died or something because I was a little knocked out. <sighs> well, there's a lot of wood down. Like, there's a lot of wood on the floor. Well, you can't see it because I can't edit it. But yeah, we're saying there's a lot of wood on the floor. Or just on the grass. I don't know. Wait. I feel something's hurting on me. Hold on a second. I'm going to look in my phone mirror. Hold on. No, no, I have a, I have a scratch. I, I have a scratch on. I have a scratch on my face. You guys can't see because I can't edit. But I do have a scratch on my face. No, 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 no. This can't be. This can't be. This can't be. No, I can't get affected now. No, 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 no. You no. This is just all a bad dream. Wake up. 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 Please. Wake up. Wake up. It's not a dream. Oh God! I, you know what? I I I'm not just gonna tell him. Yeah, I'm not gonna tell them. Nope, nope, never, never. Nope, I'm not gonna tell the others that I might be infected. I might get infected soon. I'm not just gonna tell him. No, 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 no. I just really hope they won't find out because they might just end me or something because I'm gonna be infected. I'm just gonna get the wood and get out of here. Back with Puggy and the others. It's been quite a while, um... Where's Willow? Oh god, oh god, I don't... I don't... Oh god. Oh hey, from when, what's up? Um, I'm back! Oh, finally, you're back. It took... Almost took you like... A half an hour or something. You have the wood? Oh, yep, 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 it's in my backpack. Don't worry, I'll... I'll, I'll, I'll get it out. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Wait a second. Did I see a scratch on your face? You never had that scratch before. A, a, a scratch? Oh, uh, I just fell down. Yeah, I fell down. And then there was a splinter on the ground. And then I accidentally um, fell on it. And then it scratched my um, cheek. Yeah, that that's what happened. So now let me just get... Mm, Willow... Are you okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm okay. What are you talking about? Um, we need wood, right? For s'mores. Yeah, s'mores, s'mores. Yeah, so now let me just get my, the wood the wood out so we can have some s'mores and stuff. And just make sure you have chocolate, marshmallows, and crackers. Yeah. Uh, Willow, can, can you... Can, can I talk to you alone? And just leave the wood right here and stuff. Wait, uh, talk, talking uh, alone? Uh, uh, okay, okay, let me just get the wood out. I'm gonna place it right here. Okay, uh, okay. Okay, just follow me, Will. Oh, uh, oh. Okay. So, uh, what do you need, Puggy? Well, tell me the truth. Wait, what? Yeah, well, I know something's up. There's no way you could get that big of a scratch from a splinter. Well, just tell me the truth. I, I promise I won't tell anyone. I'm sure it's not that big of a deal. Just tell me. Uh, uh, uh th 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 there's no truth. Well, tell me right now or I'll make you tell me. Well, if I tell you, you're... You're... <sighs> Fine. Okay, listen, Puggy. It wasn't a splinter. Uh... It was Doggy who scratched me. Wait. What? Yes. Y yeah, it, it was Doggy. So, basically... I went into the woods, and I realized the forest... Like, the woods was expanded. And there was, like, a... Like, another camp. Like, a another bigger camp and basically I was searching like the whole like forest and then I found a skull behind one of the cabins and then a skull lady up here trying to like kill me and steal my soul or something and then I and 
And then, um, Bunny, yes, she's alive, helped me and tell, told me that I had to, like, put, get her into the fire and stuff to, like, go away. And basically, the skull was supposed to be, like, one of, like, Mr. Stiggy's accidents, and then he said the accident was, per the accident was perfect, and then he just let her off. And then after I dealt with that, I still needed to get wood, and then I turned around and then I saw Doggy infected. And then I remembered that if Minitune, like, selects, like, a piggy skin out of the bod, um, they stay in that chapter forever. They can't get out. Like, even when they, when they tried to get to the exit where the survivors escaped, they can't get out. And then, basically, I had an idea when I was in front of, like, trees and stuff he would like chop them and then there would be some wood on the ground and then the fort and then like um, a few tries later I didn't time it perfectly and then he he scratched me with his um axe and then I fell to the ground like asleep for a few minutes and stuff and then I realized I had a scratch on my cheek by looking at my phone mirror and then I didn't want to tell you guys because I thought you were you wouldn't be like my friend anymore so yeah are you happy now are you happy that I sh told you the truth well basically back 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 in piggy book one I had friends on the way like doggy and bunny yeah bunny's alive still but when she like got infected still so basically I had to leave them as I was saying I had to leave I had to leave doggy and bunny behind and also Sizzy in book 2. I, so basically what I'm trying to say is I leave my friends that got like in, scratched by infected behind. So Willow, uh, I don't know how to say this but we're gonna have to leave you behind. What? Yeah Willow, I'm sorry you, you're infected and I don't, I don't want I don't want any of us getting infected as well once you turn infected. Like, you'll never know. Like, we'll never know when you will get infected. All we know is you got scratched by an infected. And we have to leave pe our friends or anyone who, like, got scratched by an infected behind. So I'm sorry, Willie. Goodbye. No, no. P p puggy. What are you looking at me? Yeah, that's where I get out of here. Look. Why did I do that? Why did I have to do that plan? If I didn't do that, I would have got scratched. Now he has to leave me behind here. Alone. With the ocean. Oh, hey, um, Puggy. Wait. Where's Willow? That's what I'm trying to explain. So Willow got scratched by Doggy, like, over at the other and big, bigger camp. And basically, she's gonna turn infected soon, so she's behind over there, so we have to leave. Wait, but what about the spores in camp? Forget about it, Sissy. Listen, none of us want to get infected here. And I had to leave some of our old hit friends behind as well. And I also have to do the same with Willow. So forget the s'mores, forget the campaign, forget the break. We're gonna leave. We're just gonna have to go somewhere else now. <sighs> Come on, guys. Um... Willow? Go away, Sizzy. You don't want to be infected, do you? Listen, I'm done for. I'm gonna be part with Mr. Stiggy now, because of my stupid plan. Listen, Willow, I know how it feels to get infected. Wait, you're saying you got infected before? Well, yeah, but not in this universe, like in an alternative universe, like the Book 2 universe. Like in Chapter 3, The Revenery, the ending. Yeah, I know I'm spoiling it now. Yeah, you are. But yeah, I know how it feels to get infected. Like, you get left behind and stuff, not controlling your body, being part of Mr. Stitchy. But listen, good luck out there. We'll all miss you. Like, William, your parents, everyone that loves you will miss you. Trust me. Zizi, come on! I'm coming! So long, friend. I'm 
glad some of them care about me. <gasps> huh? Wait, C or Susie? Oh, hey. Oh yeah, we forgot to um explore the subway. Don't go in. What? Listen, it's not safe in there. Trust me. I went in there and then I saw something horrifying. So just don't go in there. Listen, C or Susie, I can't remember which one you are. But I'm a grown man. Well, the person playing me is 12, like almost a teenager. But it, like. But th this, I'm a grown man here, and you're just a kid. And trust me, I'm a brave, I'm a brave boy. So I can just go in there and not be scared once. You shouldn't be saying that. Oh, trust me, I'll be fine. Wait, why are you even all alone out here? I don't even know, like, I don't know if I'm Suzy or I'm C as well. But C or whatever. Oh wait, no, no, no. Yeah, Grandpa Piggy was watching us, and then he was sleeping, and then Georgie asked if he wanted if I wanted to sneak out with them and I said sure and then we sneaked out by like I'm um, quietly going downstairs and then we just went to some places we went to go get food or something play games at the arcade you know but then I was busy playing the claw machine game and then I couldn't find Georgie or my sister anywhere. So I started searching the C. I saw you guys a few times. Now I just can't find them. And then I searched the subway, and then I saw the horrifying thing. And now I'm just out here telling people not to go in here. You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna see if Georgie and your sister are in there. Okay? No, what if you... What, what if you don't find them again? And what if you get killed by that thing? Hey, don't worry about me. I'm I'm grown. I, I'm I'm a grown man in this universe, so I can do this all by myself. Okay, but come on. Have you have your parents ever said to always trust adults? <sighs> yes, you're right. Yeah, so I'm gonna go in there, and you guys um just make sure she like doesn't like get hurt or anything since she's a kid and she's all alone out here. Well, of course I will, or we will, because of course she's my she's one of my sis sisters. All right, thank you guys. All right. Here we go. Oh god, I have a feeling it's gonna go bad. Wait a minute. Uh, where's Willow? Oh, uh... You're sorry, you, you're too young to understand. Wait, but... What, what, what do you mean? You're just too young to get what we're dealing with. Uh... Okay. What's going to happen in the next episode? Find out next time. Find out on the deep secrets on the subway next time.